we want to evaluate each expression using the order of operations, which are given below for reference. Looking at our first expression, notice how we skip step one because there's no parentheses. Step two, we simplify all expressions with exponents. So notice how we'll simplify five squared first. So the given expression is equal to four times, again, five squared equals 25. So we have four times 25 times eight divided by two. And now step three, we multiply and divide from left to right. Working our way from left to right, we first find this product here, four times 25 is equal to 100. So we have 100 times eight divided by two. Still multiplying and dividing from left to right. 100 times eight equals 800. So we have 800 divided by two, which equals 400. The first expression simplifies to 400. Let's go ahead and check this on the calculator. So we have four times five squared times eight divided by two, which verifies our work. Looking at our next expression, we begin by simplifying inside the parentheses here. And since three plus two equals five, the given expression is equal to 100 divided by five squared. Step two, we simplify the exponents and five squared equals 25. So we have 100 divided by 25, which equals four. The given expression simplifies to four. And again, checking on the calculator, we have 100 divided by the quantity three plus two squared, enter. Verifying our answer. Looking at our next expression here, we begin by simplifying inside the parentheses. And since 35 minus five equals 30, the given expression is equal to 12 plus 30 divided by six times nine. Now we're on step three, we multiply and divide from left to right. So working our way from left to right, we'll perform this division here. Three divided by six equals five. So this is equal to 12 plus five times nine. Still multiplying and dividing, five times nine equals 45. So we have 12 plus 45, which equals 57. This expression simplifies to 57. Back to the calculator, 12 plus the quantity 35 minus five divided by six times nine simplifies to 57. And for our last expression, we begin by simplifying inside the parentheses, two plus three equals five. So the given expression is equal to eight divided by two times six minus five squared. Step two, we simplify the exponents. Just as before, five squared equals 25. So we have eight divided by two times six minus 25. Step three, multiply and divide from left to right. So eight divided by two equals four. So four times six minus 25. Still on step three, multiplying and dividing from left to right, four times six equals 24. So we have 24 minus 25. And for our last step, we subtract 24 minus 25 equals negative one. This last expression simplifies to negative one. Checking on the calculator, we have eight divided by two times six minus the quantity two plus three squared and enter. Again, verifying our answer. I hope you found this helpful.